That's it. That's it. There's a difference in living and existing. He said that I came to give you life. And that life more abundantly. So today, men and women of faith, it's time for us to impact this culture. Yes, oh my God. Impact the kingdom of God. If we say we believe, then we're going to believe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We need to show people that what I believe is what I believe. Yes. Ah.
she's become a slave to. Yeah. Yeah. You can become a slave to your problems. Yes, that's right. right. That's right. There was a movie, Twelve Years a Slave. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Twelve Years a Slave, and I don't do those kind of movies well, so I have to stop because I don't want to go to work with no attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
He did it from I wanted to die. Mm -hmm. Pray to God to die. Mm -hmm. That's how bad the hurt was. Hold on. Hold on. on the inside of me. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, sister. This is what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. It hurts so bad. Yes, yes. Thank God, you. please, I don't want to breathe it on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It hurt that bad. And I'm telling you today, take all, we're not at a masquerade party. That's right. Take off the mask. Take off the mask. We're not having a masquerade party. Yes. Take off the mask. We cannot keep dressing up depression. That's right. We cannot keep dressing up anger. Yeah. We cannot keep dressing up dis disappointment. Yeah. In glitter and glitter. Yes. And when you go home, you're talking. Come down here. 
Because there's something in a touch. Because when that woman touched Jesus, something transferred. Everything about her, it went to him. Everything about her, it went to him. He's able to carry it. You're not. I'm going to turn around this way because I'm on the altar too. So y'all can see me looking at you. But if you know you ain't over that man, if you know you ain't over that mess, if you know you still smoking, you still cussing, you still lying, you still cheating, you still hurting, you not here,
world started that she didn't see finished. He said, so I passed the responsibility. I passed the responsibility down. And there are those who have a concentration of the anointing resting on them because they won't accept it and say yes, Lord. He said, so the burden that you feel is that you carry multiple mantles of people that are supposed to step into places and positions and they have yet to do it, but God said, but today, you came at the right time. Because while you were worshiping him in this house, he's changing some stuff in their hearts. And so I give God glory. He said, don't stop praying, don't worry about it. Let me do what you can do. You're going to wear yourself out trying to want more for them than they want from themselves. God says, I die for so you don't have to. You've got to have a kind of praise. Lord, I thank you. Sister Sean. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord said that there was a seed of righteousness. Just stand, right? Just stand. Sister Sean, you stand up. We just stand. God said there was a seed of righteousness in your grandmother. And a seed of righteousness in your mother. God says the reason that you're still alive is because of a prayer. That your grandmama prayed right at this church. I'm not talking about all of them. There was a prayer that she prayed. And she asked the Lord to keep you until you told God yes. And so the Lord has kept you from stuff you should have died in. Because he was honoring the word of your grandmother. Going through 
that God doesn't feel, understand that he cares for you. Lord have mercy. I know what the program says we're supposed to be doing right now. But y'all ought to be used to it right now. Just lift your hands right now. Even if we got to do communion next week, that's fine. This is God's stuff. Because it's God's stuff, no matter what our program says, when the master of the universe. See, here's what you don't understand. And Sister Melissa alluded to it. That there are literally people in this building today that say it when I leave here. That I'm going to take my own life. In the middle. I'm not talking about theoretically, hypothetically. I'm talking about in here now. That if something don't change by the time I leave this building, I won't fix it because I believe God can't fix it. See, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. And the Lord has said, I came all the way down. Says, I wouldn't leave you comfortable this morning.
that the same God of the Bible is yet alive. Talking about we don't believe that there's a new move of God, that God don't move like he used to. The same God, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And if you believe by faith, God will do what we can't do. Listen, we got another service at 3 o'clock. And I know what the program called for, but we're going to leave in this same spirit. And we're going to let this linger because I'm telling you that God ain't finished. God is not finished. God is not finished with what he wants to do. And I want you to keep that same prayerful spirit on the inside of you. But this is what we're going to do as we get ready to get out of here. And when Women's Day Committee, when we have three o'clock service, I'm going to let y'all give all the remarks y'all want to hear. But what we're about to do right now is we're about to release a praise in this place.
expectation level. See, that's a manifestation of gifts right now. See, y'all don't understand that some of these gifts have been lying dormant for generations. Yeah. 